Hey team, today we are going to discuss estimate templates and how we're gonna move forward using them. Currently, this is normal procedure, what you're looking at. We've already dispatched ourselves to a job and we've arrived. Couple reminders uh, for that is, don't forget to check on your tags, which are going to live at the bottom of your screen inside of Service Titan. And then on the right-hand side are pin notes. Be sure to review those as soon as you arrive every job. And we also have our form that triggers as soon as we get there. So don't forget to do that as well. After you've reviewed all of that history and stuff, we're gonna get down to estimate templates. And what estimate templates are, let's get a quick little background on what estimate templates are. They're just templates that are going to help us calculate labor faster. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just simply add hours to it and then it's gonna be for every single trade. And depending on what trade you are, you're gonna choose that trade and then choose the information that you need to add, such as the quantity, and save it. You may be saying, okay, how does that work? So of course, all we're gonna do is in the right-hand corner on the right-hand side, uh, choose add estimate. And then you'll be able to see these templates that live right here. So as you can see, cause this is a plumbing job, we only see our plumbing estimate. If I touch that downward facing triangle, you see how it expanded and I'm able to do either choose regular labor or overtime labor. So once I hit select, you see how it automatically puts that on there. I'll be able to go into that template because it's only gonna be regular labor. And where it says plumbing technician, I can click in there and I'll be able to change that quantity. Let's say I was there for four hours. So then I can change that quantity and hit save in the top right hand corner. Once I've done that, then the trip charge, as you guys can see, is automatically there. But there's one more step before we hit that calculate button. The summary section, this is where we're going to be able to change that. So this is where I'm going to add my really important notes about what I need to do. Important notes about the job. Now, once I've added those notes, keep in mind that those notes are gonna be customer facing. So this is not where you guys are gonna put anything about how stinky the place is or how you feel about the job. Make sure you keep this strictly professional and leave those internal face, uh, excuse me, customer facing notes right there. Once you're done with that, we'll go ahead and hit calculate in the top right hand corner. And then it's gonna prompt us, are you sure you wanna recalculate prices on this estimate? Of course, I'm gonna hit calculate once again. And now you'll notice that our total in the bottom right hand corner has been updated. That is exactly how our new estimate templates work. Uh, please don't forget when you're closing out your job to complete any of the forms that need to be completed. And then we'll email this estimate to the customer. Just as a reminder on how to email estimates in the top right uh, left hand corner, there's that email button that looks like a envelope. But if you do need to add anything else, we can hit done. And then you'll be able to uh, go in here and add items to your estimate. So like anything that you guys need to add, such as materials, we have that material button right there, or anything else from the price book, you can add directly onto that estimate as well. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to your direct manager or Ryan and he'll be able to help you guys out. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.